saw this morning a discussion with Armon that uh, everything was going multi-cloud, multi-application, multi-service. At the same time, we were seeing from Mitchell uh, the idea that uh, networking is much more than IP address and connectivity of switches and routers, but it's evolving towards providing what we call service communications. And uh, within this new world, what we are seeing is that customers are coming to uh, uh, the industry and essentially demanding, how do I connect these environments across multiple silos? So today, from um, every time I deploy a Kubernetes environment, every time I create a cloud native app, every time I go to a public cloud, essentially I have a microcosmos of operational models, security models, identity models, connectivity models. And what happens is it's very difficult to eventually operate the whole thing as a cohesive system. So we started working within a group of uh, companies, and we started realizing that uh, we couldn't repeat some of the uh, patterns of the past, of the notion of saying, we have an environment in uh, private cloud, in public cloud, in Kubernetes, and they are kind of isolated, managed by different teams. So we started discussing about this notion of how do we understand what a service is across heterogeneous environments? How do we connect a microservice in one side to, let's say, a VM on the other side? And uh, it was going back to the fundamentals of what connectivity is. This is kind of the evolution as we go to the service networking that we were uh, discussing with Mitchell. Uh, this notion that it's not anymore about connecting from IPA to IPB, but rather how to understand identity across uh, environments. How do we understand end-to-end -end connectivity? How do we understand policy? How do we understand service discovery? So for that, we started working and defining in, the, uh, in an open standard with open source with a group of companies how to essentially uh, exchange information between two disparate meshes in a way that from an operations and visibility point of view, they could work together. There is a session uh, today in the afternoon that basically we go into the details of how uh, Consul Connect uh, federates with a service mesh project that we have at VMware and a sex service mesh, and how you see an end-to-end -end connectivity on those. That's an open uh, framework that we are working with in the community. There's participants like Google and other players, and essentially allows you to stretch the notion of this service networking, this service mesh, across uh, multiple environments. Now, Provided that we do that, then we achieve essentially this end-to-end, uh, -end, what we call enterprise cost service mesh. The idea is the, the fact that now we can essentially discover, monitor, uh, control, have consistent policies across all the environments that you may have from a service point of view. Now, uh, within that though, uh, when we were talking to our customers, we were seeing that this was potentially not enough. I mean, if you think we are very focused on how a service interoperates with another service. But as we go to these layers of uh, communication, essentially, as we move from traditional networking to how microservices communicate, the picture is much more complicated. Because now, as we get inside the semantics of the application, what we have is that services are there to provide some useful value to the users that connect to those services. The authentication aspect of what users connect to what service. And eventually, we end up writing to a data object. So now, within this uh, evolution of uh, networking, service networking, and communications, what we are building at VMware is essentially expanding the meaning of what you connect, which in this case was a service, to something much more broad, like how a user connects to a service and how this service, on behalf of that user, writes into a data store. That allows us to essentially uh, have what we were discussing before about spreading this mesh across multiple compute environments, multiple clouds, but at the same time extend it to these three principles in a way that when we discover what services do we have, we by definition discover what users authenticate to those services and what data objects are being written. In a way that then when you have the visibility of understanding what's the SLO that you observe from a microservice, you could say what's the experience that a user is seeing from that uh, entity. And as you go to the control, you could start thinking in terms of why are users in Europe writing into objects in the US? Is this a GDPR violation? So as you see, the notion of going to the service uh, networking or the service mesh concept, it's a fundamental transformation because now it brings capabilities that before were like hidden in multiple layers of the infrastructure. Now you can get to closer to the business policies of uh, what you intend to do and use the deeper semantics that service networking has into the application to provide that. Now, of course, uh, and uh, it was discussed before, this is not just about how to create connectivity across cloud native or connectivity across multiple Kubernetes clusters, but is how do we extend 
uh, whatever service mesh concept I may have in the cloud native wall, how do I extend it into the virtual machine wall? How do I extend it into the physical uh, mainframes and bare metals? Uh, to that extent, we are, of course, integrating with different components of uh, the VMware family and different partners outside on how to uh, make sure that we can communicate the current service networking of the cloud native wall to the previous one that uh, Mitchell was discussing about load balancers and IP connectivity. So just to summarize, we are very excited that, uh, to be part of this collaboration with HashiCorp because essentially in this multi-cloud, multi-service transition that we are going, uh, the only way that we are going to satisfy the requirements of an end-to-end -end security model, an end-to-end -end connectivity model, if we start working and collaborating more in these frameworks about how to federate environments to solve end-to-end uh, -end problems. Thank you.